often in poems we speak about inanimate things as if they were human. This is called personification. So we give human qualities to something that is not human. For example, the moon sees me. Ideally, the moon does not have eyes. But when we speak of the moon as seeing, we give it human qualities. Another example is watch the air dance at noon. Speaking of the air as having the ability to dance means we give it human qualities. That is personification. Let us read the poem Africa by Stella Gibson. As we read, let us try to cite the instances of personification in the poem. Cloudless and regal burns the day over the sands of Africa. Parrots curl their golden feet round ebony boughs and drink the heat while the lizard sees from his limestone ledge the burnt air dance at the precipice edge. Four thousand feet in the open sky's pale arc, the lazy armies of clouds march. Four thousand feet in the plain below, straw huts drowse and the stream winds slow. Lilies and crocodiles flower in the mud, and teak logs spin in the wayward flood. Like noon's own spirit burns the day over the beaches of Africa. What are some of the examples of personification that we found in the poem? Consider the following. Parrots curl their golden feet and drink the heat. The lizard sees. The burnt air dance. Lazy armies of clouds march. Straw hats drowse. Those are but just a few of the examples of personification that we have found in the poem Africa. Can you think of any other instances of personification and write them down 